Today we're going to be talking about converting a project to a different template in Scrivener and whether that is actually possible. So what do you think? Let's begin. Okay, so we're back and the short answer is there is rarely a need to do this as there would be little benefit in actually doing so. It's just one of those things you really don't need to do it because it's so easy to take elements of, of that template and stick it in your existing project, thereby preventing any messy back and forth that would be required if you had to move all the stuff from your current project into a brand new project. Now, there are situations where it may be warranted, where it may actually be easier to transfer that information into a new project. But today, we're gonna to keep it really simple. We're gonna take a look at how we could quickly and easily transfer certain elements from a Scrivener project template into an existing project. And you'll find it is really easy. Now, I tell you what we're not gonna cover. We're not gonna cover style sheets. We're not gonna cover compile settings. We're not gonna cover um, transferring section types and things to that effect. If you're unfamiliar with any of that, that's okay. Those things are a little bit higher level that take a little bit more work to transfer over from one project to another. For today, we're gonna focus on simply just copying some files from one template to another. First off, let's go ahead and open up Scrivener. As you can see here, I have several different templates here and are available for every Scrivener user. So let's assume I already have a project ready to go. Let's say I created a blank project, right? Go ahead and create that. I'm gonna call this uh, my blank project. Click OK. Pull that up and ha ha, I've created my blank project. And let's assume also that I've added a bunch of uh, writing into this project, so much so that it would be difficult to move it around. Let's assume that I've, I've worked on this for several weeks and months and I, I decide, hey, you know what? I actually kind of wish I had used the novel template. I'd like to bring in some of those elements. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and do that. We're gonna go ahead and create a new project. We're gonna create it from the novel and we'll just call this novel test, okay? Okay, so I have my novel test project, that template I wanna transfer to. Now I could write, carry things between projects, drag and drop them over any way I want to. Let's say I didn't have very much in the blank project. It would be really easy for me to drag it over here. And there it is. Now I can just start using this novel template here instead. But if I have a lot of different files and documents inside this project, it would be really tedious to have to drag everything over from my, my existing project into a brand new template, okay? So what instead I'm going to do assuming I have way too much in my, my existing project, I'm actually gonna bring over the things I want. So for example, I want the character sheets. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that over into my research folder. And there we go, now I have that. I also want the template sheets here. I'm gonna drag that over. And you see now I have that here. Now you may notice here, the icon here and the icon here are different. In this case, I would need to set this up as my template folder. And real quick, I'll just show you how to do that. We'll go to project project settings, special folders, and select template sheets as our template folder. And you can see, there we go. It's working just how we want it to. If I come here, I can now add a character sketch and it'll work great, okay? So I've got that element in there. Maybe I also want to grab here the places and the notes folder, okay? now. It's worth noting that I could create all of these from scratch in Scrivener uh, just by creating a new folder, calling it notes, and then giving it the icon it's supposed to have. We can go down here. Oh, somewhere in here is that icon. Let's see here. There it is, notes right there. There's the yellow notepad and see, I just created the same thing. So really, you can see why this idea of taking uh, putting your existing project into a, a new project template or you know transferring back and forth is kind of a little bit unnecessary, right? A lot of this stuff is easily made in your own project and honestly, it's just, it's easier to just drag and drop the elements you want from the template into the existing project rather than trying to transfer your whole project into another template. Now there is another way we can handle this too, maybe a little bit quicker. And so what we're gonna do is we're actually we're gonna come in here and we're gonna have the research folder selected, okay? I'm gonna close this out. 
make this bigger. There's another way we can transport information into our um, Scrivener project. Let's say that we want to do that, use that temple, template. So to make things really simple for me, I'm actually going to create a new one so I don't have to go hunting for it. And we're call, going to go use the novel, and we're going to call this a novel template because we just want to take elements from it, right? We're not actually making a project. I'm going to save it to my desktop this time so it's easy to find. There we go. Okay, easy to find. Now we're going to go to File, Import, Scrivener Project. And then I can actually see I'm on my desktop. I can select the Scrivener Project template, import it in, and boom. There it is, right there at the bottom, imported. You can see it has everything that was in that template has been included. The only things that are different, you can see the manuscript folder is not the, the current manuscript folder. It just has the stuff that was inside of it. So if I wanted to move that over here, I'd actually have to drag it up to my manuscript folder. I have my characters folders, my places, my front matter, notes, research, template sheets. Everything has been transferred in quickly and efficiently. That's probably the easiest way if you just want to get everything and get it in here quickly. Now, bear in mind, you will have to go through this and delete some things, right? We don't need that. Uh, like, you know, if you don't if you don't want this part, you know, you'd have to come through. So basically, it'll require a little bit of reworking and retooling on your part. But uh, essentially, you'll be able to do here whatever you want. You can keep the stuff you want and get rid of the stuff you don't need just by re rearranging it around wherever you want to, wherever you want to. And you can see very quickly and easily, it's already beginning to look very similar to what... Uh, to the actual novel template itself. Now this does get a little bit more tricky here. Oops, sorry about that. Let's trash that. This does get a little bit more tricky if you start having more custom templates. Uh, I have, as you can see here, the Epic Fantasy template. Let's go ahead and create one of those. And I'll talk about more about how I made this template in length in another video. But if I, you can see here, I have a lot of templates and things going on in here. Um, I have uh, other settings in here. I have like labels and uh, status and collections and all sorts of other goodies and little things that I've added to this particular project. So in this case, it actually might be better if I really wanted to convert this to this template, it actually might be better if I actually took the information from this project or rather from my blank project here and put it in this new template. It really just depends on how big of a, de a deal this template is going to make. If it's just stuff from the binder, that stuff is easy to bring over. But other elements of the project are a little bit trickier to bring over. And so um, I can understand this being a question for a template like mine, a custom template. If I if I gave that to you or you if you, if you got a custom template for me or from a friend, there may be elements that you want to bring in, in which case it might be easier just to go ahead and actually do the same thing we did before, right? Let's go back in here. Let's go to our blank project, right? Recent project here. Or let's rather go to import Scrivener project, right? And then we could find the one we wanted, right? Let's go ahead and go to, I think it's in Dropbox. Oops, everything's all mixed up here. Apps, Scrivener, there's my blank project there. And I could import that in here. There we go, there it is. And see, then it's just a matter of reorganizing things around where they need to go into this template. Just because there are some legitimate reasons why like custom metadata here, over here on this side. There are reasons why you might want to use this specific template with the features are already set up into it. So just throwing that out there. But if you're just trying to convert to one of the stock templates that's included for every version of Scrivener, like the novel, the novel with parts, um, even the short story, even some of the nonfiction stuff over here, it may make more sense just to open these up, create a copy, and then just transfer those elements that you want from one project to another. Right, to your exist from from the template project to your existing project. So unfortunately, there's no easy way to copy all the existing elements from one project to another. As you can see, when I imported that over, if I were to come in here and do the same thing, let's say I, I wanted to import this into my blank project, we go to File, Scrivener Project, and this time we're going to go to our desktop and import this the fantasy template. Let's see if anything what comes in. If we come up here and we go to Collections. Our collections didn't come with us. Our metadata doesn't come with us. So all those things, they don't transfer over with it. So in that case, 
and I'd be smarter, take my, my existing project and put it in that custom template. However you decide to do it, hopefully this gives you some ideas and some, some ways that you can approach this unique problem. Um, it's one of those things, like I said, if you're just using a stock template, you don't need to worry about it. Just copy the elements over. If you're using a, a very highly specialized custom template like my epic fantasy template then yeah you might there's a good reason why you might want to import your existing project into the custom template to use it and then make those rearrangements if you really enjoyed this video be sure to let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel you guys make this possible and i absolutely love helping you out let me know your needs let me know your wants and i'll start making content just for you see you next time